Hi guys, this is Dave Sarakin, the associate head coach of the LA Galaxy. I'm here today to talk a little bit about the buzz that's surrounding the transfer game controversy video that everybody has seen recently. There's been some confusion as to exactly what this game is all about, so I thought I'd spend a few minutes and walk you through the steps of what this game means and how we play it and why it is so controversial. So I'm going to explain how the transfer game is played. As you can see, we have three grids, one, two, and three, and there's eight players in each of the grids. It begins by me playing a ball into grid one. Once that ball gets in, now two players release from grid two and chase and get into the grid and try to steal the ball. The X's get the ball moving around one touch until they can make 10 consecutive passes. Once 10 consecutive passes is made, then a player on the X can serve a ball in the air, transfer the ball into grid three. If they do that successfully, they get one point. And then the action repeats itself. The brown squares keep the ball for 10 passes while two orange circles are trying to steal. If in fact that ball's stolen, now all the orange circles go into that grid, all the brown squares come into that grid, and now I enter a new ball in and the same action begins. The browns go in trying to chase. Every time a ball is transferred successfully, that's a point and the team that reaches three points wins. Okay guys, now that the cat's out of the bag on the transfer game, go out, have some fun, get a group of your friends, uh, get some cones, and see if you can challenge yourself to the transfer game.